September is the African Union Amnesty Month where civilians possessing illegal firearms are urged to surrender without facing prosecution. According to police records, at least 25 firearms have been recovered in Samburu, 30 in Baringo since disarmament commenced in September last year with the regions facing the most cases of infightings. The guns returned are most AK-47, but there was no explanation from locals on how they were acquired. The Kenya National Focal Point on Small Arms and Light Weapons, Director Charlton Muridi, said failure to surrender the weapons, they will face arrest and prosecution. We have two fronts. One of them is to encourage a, a free surrender of those firearms and amnesty for those who are willing. Secondly is forceful disarmament which is still going on. Moravi said there has been an element of firearm unrest in the counties despite numerous peace missions. We are urging Kenyans and pleading with them, patriotic, and come out and talk to, because amongst themselves they know who may be having a firearm. Some may be shy, some may be fearful, but we must talk amongst ourselves as Kenyans. We must have conversations and decide that we want a peaceful country, we want a prosperous country, and this cannot happen in conflict, no uh, wars or wrestling or crime, terrorism and thus. According to Nakuru County Commissioner Erastas Mbui, mopping up of the prone areas of illicit firearms is still ongoing with voluntary disarmament on top gear in the counties of Trukana, Samburu, El Geo Marakwet, West Pokot and Baringo. Mombi Wambogo, K24 Evening Edition.